So your buy two, get one free, is that just an, a, an ongoing deal? Do you ever adjust your deals or run uh, holiday promotions, anything like that? Uh, I used to like not run any deals at all, but especially like the past, I guess maybe the past, even the, the past year I've switched to a buy two, get one free that I'm running consistently. And it's because I want people, you know, I, I want to give people reason to spend more, right? Like, I, I don't want to, you know, sound mean to, to anyone, but if you're doing like a buy one, get three or a buy one, get one free, if someone comes to your website and they want to, and then they're going to buy something anyways, and all of a sudden they can figure out they get something free. It's like, okay, well, I was going to spend, you know, 20 bucks and regardless of if I was getting one beat or five beats, right? But when people go on to my site or my beat stars or whatever, and they see I have a buy two get one free, uh, I, I feel like, you know, they think, okay, if I spend a little bit more, I'll get another one for free. So it's that incentive to spend a little bit more, right? So I used to not do it like really at all, but now it's, I want to, you know, give people that reason to, uh, to spend more right away. And it's really been working like really, really well. And I think that's what contributed to, uh, you know, my increase of sales last year was doing that sale consistently. Um, your other question was about, kind of holiday or other type of sales. Um, it is something that I do. And that's what like I use for my email marketing is where I hit people up like Christmas or, you know, end of year type of sales. And I'll usually do like a buy to get to free, but any sale that I do, you have to at least buy two beats. Like it's not just buying one. It's so you still have to spend more than you initially would to take advantage of that sale. Got it. So how, how do you tend to announce these deals? Um, are you someone who's amassed a, a pretty big subscriber list uh, with like a MailChimp or an Aweber? Do you do you use email uh, marketing as a, as a sales strategy? Yeah, my, my email marketing is like primarily just anytime I do kind of a a bigger sale type of thing. And, and my list is just legit, like anyone who's bought a beat from me from the past couple of years, right? So it's kind of a, a good size list. And that's how I how I announce my sales. Um, I do want to kind of use email marketing for other stuff. But at the moment, I just, you know, send out an email, like, uh, at the end of the year, I was, you know, doing a, a sale on like a buy two get three free for a couple of days. So I send out that email and then a couple of days later before the sale ends, I send them out a reminder. But I, I feel like there's definitely a lot more that I could do with email marketing. So it's something I kind of want to experiment a little bit more with. 